involved in this case, and development process included computer-aided design, mechanical fabrication, spacecraft electronics, component tests, integration of key systems, and simulation of launch and space environments. NIR's state-of-the-art instruments were chosen to maximize science return for the dollar. The instruments include a multispectral imager, X-ray and gamma-ray spectrometers, near-infrared spectrograph, laser rangefinder, and magnetometer. The completed NIR spacecraft underwent environmental testing in fall 1995 at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center in Greenbelt, Maryland. Launched in February 1996 from Cape Canaveral, Florida, the Near Earth Asteroid Rendezvous, or Near spacecraft, will arrive early in the year 2000 at the asteroid Eros. To reach the distant Eros, the spacecraft received an energy boost by swinging out to nearly 200 million miles from the sun, where a deep space maneuver in July 1997 with the spacecraft's powerful main thruster sent Near back towards home for a close encounter with Earth. Using Earth's gravity as a slingshot, the spacecraft swung away from Earth and decelerated to 15,000 miles an hour, with its trajectory angle bent nearly 11 degrees out of the ecliptic to match Eros's orbital plane. Eros, one of the largest and best observed of the Earth approachers, orbits the Sun in 21 months and passes no closer to Earth than 13 million miles. With fundamental information gained from the December 1998 Eros flyby, NIR will initially enter a 600 by 250 mile elliptical orbit around the asteroid, using its camera and other instruments to refine the asteroid's dimensions and mass. The spacecraft is then carefully maneuvered into a 250 by 125 mile radius elliptical orbit. Over a period of months, that orbit is tightened to 22 miles. The closest near gets to the Eros surface during the year-long rendezvous is approximately 9 miles. NIR's instruments are designed to determine surface composition and physical properties and to photograph surface features, like craters, as small as three feet in diameter. Well, after all, by, by yeah, looking yeah. at this, this number here, I think right. it'll change. Oh, yes, 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 for sure. Okay, right. I think I can make a statement now that the near spacecraft is in orbit around the asteroid Eros. This is the first time that any spacecraft has orbited a small body. All right, yeah. Hey, all right. Dave, Dave. Well, Senator, would you like to do a high five with me? <laughs>